live from Television City in Silmar. It's the Ross Matthews Roast. First up, Bosco. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the roast of the legendary Ross Matthews. Before we get started, I do want to take a moment and talk about myself. Oh! So last week I had the legendary honor to be told to go home by each and every one of my competitors. <laughs> Everyone on the panel. Yeah. And by RuPaul. <laughs> I have been told to go home more times than Ross at white party. Yes. <laughs> I have been told to go home more times than Michelle every time she visits the UK. <laughs> I have been told to go home more times than RuPaul when she tells her record company she has a new song. <laughs> I understand the critiques. You're tired of the bras. You're tired of the corsets. You want to see versatility. I'll show you versatility when Willow passes a drug test. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll show you versatility when Georges wins an acting challenge <laughs> and passes a drug test. <laughs> RuPaul, you are so old that when you say that you are versed, you mean you are both hunter and gatherer. <laughs> and Ross, the man of the hour, the reason for the season. When you say that you are verse, no one believes you. <laughs> but for real, I adore you. <laughs> Ross is not a top. He's a blouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bring on our next girl. If you hated my corsets, I'm sure you're going to love her swimsuits. <laughs> it's Georgia. <laughs> Hi, you nasty bitches. You know, RuPaul, I thought I was gonna be competing with succulent, decadent, gorgeous queens. Instead, I'm getting a linebacker, Lurch, and the crimson chin, bitch. <laughs> Speaking of linebackers, hi, Michelle. Whoa. <laughs> um, I just wanna say, it's so crazy to think that your plastic surgery is older than me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have any, but okay. <laughs> I just also want to say, RuPaul, it is so crazy that I've known about you ever since I was in diapers. Now you're the one in diapers. <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I could smell it, girl. I could smell it. <laughs> now the most nastiest bitch of the hour, Miss Ross Matthews. Hello, it is. Good morning. Hey, hey. Oh my god, you're so gay that your ass sounds like a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good to see you lose all that weight. How's the baby? <laughs> Surprisingly, Georges has like good energy up there. I just want to bring on to the next stage. I mean, I just want to bring pleasures of Hesheva. But George's roast is not good. I just want to bring to the stage the gremlin of the season, Mr. Willow Pill. Thank y'all very much. Everybody give it up for Georges. Yeah. She really tried her darndest. <laughs> you know, the judges are always saying Georges was born for drag. She's also going to die for it because <laughs> RuPaul's going to sacrifice her for seven more years of life. <laughs> All that's going to be left is the world's tiniest sequin bra. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think what I love most about the cast is the diversity. We have Bosco, who looks like the child of Kurt and Courtney. Daya, who looks like the child of Ozzy and Sharon. And we have Camden, who looks like the child of a brother and sister. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> but enough about these hooligans. I want to talk about these judges. Michelle, you pride yourself on being a singer, an actor, and a dancer, and only three of those are a lie. <laughs> <laughs> On to the man of the hour, Carson Kressley's <laughs> arch nemesis, Ross Matthews. <laughs> That's me. Truly, you are a very, very handsome lesbian. <laughs> it took me about five years to realize you and Fortune Feimster were different people. <laughs> That's my roast, but I'm going to bring up our next guest. She combines the grace of Diana Ross and the beauty of Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Give it up for Angeria. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. All right, well, now that nap time is over, I'm here to do what I do best, and that's read a bitch. Oh, All right. Now, wait a minute. Now, let's start with our beautiful panel of judges. Mama Ruth, in drag, you are like the supermodel of the world. 
But out of drag, you are like the superintendent of schools. <laughs> Big, half the time, I don't know whether I'm about to get eliminated or expelled. <laughs> Michelle Visage, the inspiration behind the invention commonly known as the glory hole. <laughs> because men would rather look at a blank wall than your face. <laughs> And the diet version of Lizzo herself. Oh. It's Dulce Slow, baby. <laughs> baby, how you feeling? OK as hell? <laughs> all right, honey. We are all here tonight to honor one man. Well, unfortunately, that man was unavailable, so we got a woman instead. <laughs> Rosa <Rose and> Matthews! <laughs> if you were on Drag Race, I am pretty sure you would be the lip sync assassin of your season because you are no stranger to bottoming weekly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, you are the only man that I know that masturbates to Lifetime Movie Network. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Angeria may not have the punchlines, but she is delivering everything as if it is the funniest thing you've ever heard. Knit the soap operas and <laughs> That is all the time that I have for y'all today. Ladies and gentlemen, Uncle Festa. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I am terrified. I've never done a roast before, but Dulce did give me some really good advice before we got started. It's really all about creating jokes centered around people that you respect the most. I was like, well, I'm definitely in trouble then. <laughs> Although I don't really consider myself the funniest girl here, I am very happy to be here in front of you all tonight. I want you all to take a look at Michelle Visage over here. Look at her beautiful hair, the stunning makeup. Now, this is what a man in a wig is supposed to look like, OK? <laughs> now, real roasting you is probably the, the most difficult thing, you know, just because I admire you so much. I think you were just so successful. Hell, you had a podcast that always made people smile. Daya's taking so long to get to every punchline. You have a TV show that constantly makes people laugh. You have a music career that makes people go, ah, oh yeah, cool. It's like, oh, not only was it not funny, but you wasted my time. But, you know, we are all here tonight for a reason. Ross, you are so gay. Your favorite candy is prep. <laughs> and you know, you truly are a staple of this show. And you are definitely one of my top four favorite judges here. <laughs> Let me introduce you to our next guest. She was conceived in a car going 80 miles per hour during, down the interstate because that's where most accidents happen. <laughs> it's Deja Sky. Well, hello, everybody. Give it up for Miss Daya Betty. Yeah. Now, I will say, Daya looks like what a five-year-old would draw if you asked them to draw Bigfoot. Or a big foot. Yeah, that's very much Daya Betty. <laughs> now, speaking of big things, what's the difference between my padding and Bosco's big ego? Oh, my God. My padding can clear a doorway. <laughs> oh, my God. Just kidding. Not really. <laughs> Let's talk about you guys. Michelle, you are a dirty, dirty woman. And I only say that because she hasn't washed her vagina since season four of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh my god. What? <gasps> now, what's something nice that I can say about Michelle that already hasn't been said by the LA Rams? <laughs> or the Clippers? Damn. Or the Lakers? Damn. She's a whore. <laughs> And that leads me to the queen of the hour, Mrs. Ross Matthews. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> now, Ross, I personally love your voice, but sometimes it gets so high-pitched, I'm almost certain only dogs can hear it. Mm. Bro, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, Deja. <laughs> now, it's weird, and I don't understand this, but I am in full drag. And for some reason, I look more masculine than you. Ooh. I don't get it. It's the flannel. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell another one I'm bombing up here. Hey. <laughs> well, my time is done. Let's introduce our next entertainer. Now, this queen needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
finally a joke land. And it happens to be the last one. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank that was over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppets are here. Yes, a bunch of ugly monsters who only come to life when there is a hand up their ass. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited for tonight's runway. Georges will be wearing a headband as a dress, and RuPaul <laughs> will be telling her that she is a superstar. Oh yes, can't wait for you to superstar your way out of this roast, bitch. Damn. Oh my God. Enough about them. I'm in front of Gay Mount Rushmore tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? I don't know, but Michelle's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle actually translates to beautiful, and Visage translates to just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ross. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear, but you represent the bottoms and the bottoms of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is a true Hollywood success story, proof that you do not need a deep voice, you just need a deep throat. Oh. <laughs> Ross, you are so gay that when I shout hello into your ass, it echoes. Hello, hello, hello. And then it comes back, hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I shout, I need relationship advice, and it comes back out, dump him, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I shout, what is the meaning of life into Ross's ass, it echoes in and it comes back out. It's Britney, bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> That's all I have time for today. Thank you all so much. And thank you for letting us destroy you completely tonight, Ross Matthews. We adore you. Mwah. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.